This NFL props week 14 edition of the sports game podcast is brought to you by bet rivers. Claim your risk free bet up to $500 over at sports game podcast.com slash bet rivers at sports game podcast.com slash bet rivers. We're also brought to you by hall of fame bets. The sports betting research platform for parlays, player props and game lines. Download the hall of fame bets app or visit hrfbets.com. Use code SGPN to get 50% off your first month and start making smarter bets today. We're also brought to you by Game Time. Game Time tickets make the perfect holiday gift. Download the Game Time app today and use promo code SGPN for twenty dollars off your first purchase. What's up, everybody? You're watching SGPN. Fuck the Cowboys. Let's go, baby. <laughs> The Sports Gambling Podcast. I'm Sean, stacking the money green with my partner on picks, Ryan. Real money Kramer. What's happening, Kramer? Dog. We're we're ladder hoarding in the box. Yes, you heard the sound effect. That means the ladder crew is assembling. Get the stick out. Uh, Can we get a Thundercats or like a Transformers like theme? Look at these ladders. We're here with the Ladder Llama, aka CJ Sullivan, aka the host. Of the bottom line bombs podcast, aka Little Dom. What's happening, CJ? What's up, guys? I even like uh, I was the bet detective, <laughs> man in the box, the Dominheimer. Oh, Dominheimer! I love it. If you haven't seen, uh, it combines Dom and the bombs. <laughs> yeah, Dom bombs. The Dom bombs. Yeah. If you haven't seen uh, CJ Sullivan's role as Big Dom. Uh, amazing uh, reenactment. Uh, SportsGivenPodcast.com. Uh, Click on the episode link. Can't miss it. I was told that was Big Dom himself. Oh, then, okay. Sean, so, all right, all right. I mean, you want to give me credit for it? I, I'll take credit for it. <laughs> a lot of people said I had similarities to it for sure. <laughs> when you uh, the when Big Dom yells uh, at Marie that he's recording, <laughs> that uh, that really hit home. I have. I felt like it was back. Yeah, I mean, it's always a Marie. And I have been told that the actual Big Dom ha- will be seeing that video. That today. is amazing. Yeah. Uh, Big Dom getting to witness Big Dom's acting debut. That's really what. Uh, Hopefully, he doesn't try to assault you. Oh, Big Dom! Ca- <laughs> he's a sweetheart, Big Dom. Causing Big a- Dom, Big Dom's a teddy bear inside. Right? Oh, he is. Oh, causing he is. a league-wide memo to go out. <laughs> Big Big Dom, the butterfly uh, effect yeah, of I Big mean, Dom. Come on, like the uh, the Forty ers <laughs> Like I said, you guys won the game. Congrats! Oh, right. you, uh, come but- on, Sean. Come on. What you you have the league was always going to make a scene of this. Course. You can't have Italian American bouncers right. on your yep. sideline. Yep. Big Dom's a big guy. All right, Capiche. <laughs> oh, Capiche, no one comes at the Don. Suddenly you're pro Italian American, huh? Oh, I always am. That's okay. why I was spearheaded the Dago Dimes uh, t shirt that is available in the merch store. Yeah. You'll like this, uh, Kramer, as a time. So I got no. the I got the Italian flag. <laughs> The oh, Siri, nice. the Siri, the Sirianni patch, you know, in ah. Big Dom, the patch in the hat. <laughs> I, I did this yesterday. I went to the dry cleaners to sew because I wasn't. I was thinking about sewing. I know how to thread a needle. I took a class in grade school, but I'm like, well, my kid. So it's home, home ec is for C- CJ with his flair. Yeah, I like it. I was gonna do it, so I had her sew it. Then I forgot. I'm like, I, I, I walked. I walked back. I wonder if she knows which way to do it. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's always green to red, not red to green. So wait, this was the, uh, this was someone who worked at like a dry cleaner. Yeah, dry cleaner. Oh, okay. I thought this was you like know? your sister. I mean, no, I, I'm impressed. Well, I, I, I don't know. You said right. her. I just, I was oh, thinking yeah, maybe, yeah, yeah. maybe a sister. CJ, it was, Mar- it was Marie. I smacked her around a bit. <laughs> CJ really showing that he's an adult too. Not, not, not trying to get some free labor. Chance. Right. Go into a proper professional, yeah, a proper professional, getting the job done. Love it. Looks excellent. Charge Love money, it. and they did do it wrong. And they, 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 they had to, they had to redo it. They had to redo it. Uh, that's so great. Green hey. the red. Green the red. Yeah, what is this? A Mexican flag? Yeah, no, that's what I said. Jesus Christ. But I looked it up. Apparently, that's green and red as well. <laughs> <laughs> just the other way, right? Uh, no, I think no, no, they're, they're both, both the same green way. Green. Yeah. Okay. It's just a symbol in the middle. Oh, we of the share difference. a lot. Also, a, yeah. uh, passion for food. Absolutely. Love Very carbs. Beautiful people. Both cultures. Yes. Oh, what do you carbs? Uh, co- I would. Uh, all right. Carbo. Yeah. I mean the. Um, 
Mexicans love tortillas. Uh, I like this segment already. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit more Come corn on. use. Starch. But you're right, dude. They love, they love tortillas. It, yeah, they have a, a carb base to a lot of their foods, which I would, I would and do. rice. A underrated yeah. seafood culture on their coast. I oh would yeah, say. both, both uh, countries. Both. Uh, yeah, probably some of the best seafood yeah, I've had uh, is, is Italian seafood. Both countries have massive coastlines, and you don't really think about it. Mm. Mm. Good point. Really bring. I'll put this on the list. Colby and I will cover oh this on the well, next episode of the List Gambling Podcast. Because when you so think of a list, because when you think of Mexico, you don't want to you don't want to touch the water down there. That's why you, that's yeah, why, usually you stay away. Right. Uh, oh, I drink the water all the time. Oh, uh, I love cannot, the I love the water. I have a super Mexico. sensitive stomach. Uh, hey, we're doing this live, uh, counting you down to kickoff Thursday night football. We may even get a live first touchdown sweat. And of course, Ooh. if you're getting down on some first touchdowns. Uh, you should be doing it over on Bet Rivers and using our sign up link. Support Please. the sports gambling. Po- <laughs> Thank you, Ryan. <laughs> Please support the sports gambling podcast and yourself by getting up to a risk free, uh, risk free bet up to $500. 14 states. It's available. Uh, even Ontario up there in Canada, like I say, top three country in North America. Love Canadian listeners. Uh, again, tons of live markets. Um, and again, some nice prices. Some of the first touchdown bets. Uh, some of the same game parlay stuff are really, really priced well. So highly recommend uh, signing up over on Bet Rivers. Uh, deposit withdrawal super easy. And again, use our link. You can uh, click the QR code if you're watching on YouTube. Link in the bio or go to sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash Bet Rivers. Problem gambling? Call one eight hundred Gambler. Speaking of Italians, our favorite Italian. Little Nero himself, aka Little Caesar, the official pizza sponsor of the National Football League. Thursday <laughs> night football. Kramer's uh, Little Caesar. Uh, still one of the one of the all time uh, photoshops. Yeah, I'm jealous. That we have. <laughs> I'm jealous. Of it's so funny when I'm doing stuff on social media and I look to tag Kramer and the Little Caesars <laughs> logo comes up. I do a double take because I'm like, yeah. oh, that's not Kramer, and then I forget How, that he has switched and his that's logo. Your, that's your Twitter avatar too. Oh, right? yeah. That it, pops up a lot. It's all. Also, I kind of hijacked that, like you know how like the douchey people out there create the really bright backgrounds. Yeah. Mm. I've also accidentally stumbled into that, so whenever I join a space, I, <laughs> I really stand out. <laughs> Guys, you just gotta be careful where That's I awesome. show up. Coming, I, I was gonna screenshot. Coming hot, I like it. Uh, coming in hot and coming in ready, much like <laughs> Little Caesars. Perfect. Order online during our pizza pizza pregame, one hour before and three hours after NFL kick all day Sunday. Sunday is for the pretzels. That's right. Get you some pretzel crust pizza. Perfect. That python of flavor surrounds the pepperoni piled high with those nice salty sprinkles around the edge of the crust. You cannot do better. It is tasty, it is delicious, and you can get it delivered uh, or our in store pizza portal pickup. Grab some friends and enjoy a few slices during the game. Little Caesars, pizza, pizza. I, I, re- I mean, I remember a time where you had to go to a Little Caesar. Yeah, the delivery, that's why I keep highlighting it in the. Uh, in the in the ad reads because I think if you're if maybe you hadn't had Little C's in a while you're getting back in the game of Little Caesars the, I I didn't realize they delivered too because whenever I had had it I was always pick up mm. uh, I remember back in the day like I feel every pick up and they only had cheese like every <laughs> elementary school birthday party I went to they oh. got the big foot um, I don't know if they still had that, that big but it, foot yeah, the yeah, paper yes, top yes, of it yeah yes. the, the oil coming through it yeah, yeah little well, if, uh, if you were in L A you probably didn't have that because no. you probably had the there's a local Armenian pizza joint that has a specialized oh yes uh, the car for a four foot square pizza. Mm. Yeah. It, oh, yeah. It's they put it on like a mini Cooper and the, the <laughs> thing that holds the pizza is bigger than the mini Cooper. It's really excellent. It's uh it's I, truly, I, amazing. I will say I once tried to order the pizza and they said, we can't, yeah, we were not offering that pizza today because the truck's being serviced. <laughs> Did, didn't have the a pizza hey. truck. Uh, that's not Italian. Try us tomorrow. Let's, let's be honest. All right. I like that in the comments. You guys trying to undermine the NFL by doing this now live. That's right. We're not afraid. Yeah, we can compete head to head with the it, yeah. National Football League. Right. Well, also everyone's bitching and moaning about, oh, this game sucks. Well, then just uh, you know, pair our commentary with the game. Uh, we will be reacting live if uh, needed to anything that happens. Although I, I saw someone uh, tweeted out the report that the most heavily bet prop was no touchdown at fourteen to one. Please, people, this stay away. <laughs> uh, and maybe even if no touchdown hits at fourteen to one, that's a horrific, terrible price. number. I saw horrific that as price. well. Right. 
I can't wait to see what happens in this one. I am excited. Uh, Al Michaels is going to be extra oh, enraged, enraged. Al Michaels. <laughs> It's like, come on, dude! You're uh, calling a football game on a Thursday with Kurt Herb. Come on, have a little fun. Kurt, Kurt, Kurt Herb Street is uh, America's favorite right now, so I, I wonder if Al Michaels <laughs> is going to throw him a ribbon. People do not like uh, Kirk Herb Feel, Street. Feels like he did the, uh, you know, the, he did the uh, work for the committee, the dirty work uh, for the committee of being their puppet. And uh, by the way, when he called into the NFL show uh, pregame show that Sunday morning. His face looked really swollen. <laughs> uh, Cracking yeah. a couple cocktails. It was like one of those, like, oh, I gotta give it four thirty and call into this thing real quick. No big deal. And then not realizing your face is swollen because you just rolled off a pillow. All right, let's get to it. Uh we got our four regular props, our ladder props, Sunday night, first touchdown, and a D Gen only uh little uh cherry on top of the mm. Sunday to close things out. Kramer, uh, how say you? What's your first prop you like for NFL Week I also, 14? I'd like to announce I brought extra props. Okay, I did actually jam one in. I also want to let people know that we will be live after the game ish to uh, talk college basketball. Yes. Mm. First prop, I'll go a little bit out of order, but Detroit Lions to lose a fumble plus 130. Oh. oh. Uh, yep. Yes, sir. Was exploring the depths of the prop markets out there, and what I realized is that Jared Goff has never not fumbled in Soldier Field. <laughs> really? <laughs> he hasn't always lost yeah. the fumble, but he's fumbled. Just, just Jared Goff All has right. fumbled every time. We're getting the whole team, and it, it to lose a fumble, to, correct? To lose a fumble okay. plus one thirty. <laughs> Like I said, Jared Goff in the three games he's played in that field, he's put the ball on the ground five times. It's crazy, and he's and lost three of them. Yeah, and he's had he had a game uh, even in Detroit uh, against the Packers where he lost three fumbles. Like he's he's kind of turned back Whoa. into that turnover machine. And this game will be outside, yep. or or as they like to say, in the elements. In the elements. In the elements. Of Soldier It's going to be near that uh, Jared Goff Mendoza line of thirty-two mm. degrees Fahrenheit, oh, and, <laughs> and with that lake effect there, it gets worse. <laughs> so sure. feels feels much colder. Uh, so will he be wearing a scuba suit like Mac Jones did once? Oh. My <laughs> Remember that? Yeah, that Tom, was like. In fairness, Tom Brady, I believe, used to also do that. But see, Brady was smart enough to cut out the neck part, um, so you didn't realize that he was wearing I, a scuba I suit. He believe- looked like Mac Jones looked legit like Scuba Steve from the uh, from uh, Big Daddy. I want to say that even like it could it. I, I believe it's a, like a New England equipment manager like trick. <laughs> Cuz I believe some of their receivers have anyway, yeah, very silly look. I mean, it's silly enough when you're wearing a wetsuit for the beaches of uh, Southern California, let alone playing football. <laughs> Asshole. Uh, All right. Uh yeah, so the Lions lose a foot plus 130. Again, had to You know what happened? There weren't a ton of player props out right. early this week, so I went right over into the game prop markets and it turns out there's a lot of good stuff over there. I feel like that's the back of the grocery store where you have the clearance rack, mm. and sometimes day old bread, lazy Still ass, good. the lazy ass grocery store employee yeah. just put regular stuff back there for some <laughs> reason, accidentally tagged it. So you just go grab a nice. I don't it. This is pretty standard what the price is for these these fumble props, and it didn't seem like they were adjusting for the games that are outside in bad weather. In elements, yeah. And no, so, some of these, some of the, I, I, you know, a lot of these books like just. You know, have these uh, you know algorithms, formulas that put the prices out, and they kind of you know they take a look and then wait to get whacked, and then and then kind of adjust uh, from there. CJ, what's your first prop? What's jumping sure. out at you? Well, first of all, if I can peel behind. You got a, a real buck slip there. I like that. All analog here. <laughs> yeah, analog. I don't need a computer. If you're gonna, if you're if you're taking a look here, this is all you, all you need. The, the, the no, pen no goes. spoilers. Someone might freeze frame that. And zoom in. <laughs> get it down. <laughs> If I can take a peek behind the curtain, peeled behind the curtain for the listeners, by okay. the way, uh, for the last prop there, I was there. I was back there when Kramer discovered <laughs> that plus one thirty. Kramer's reaction uh, in our office when he finds something, he's like, "Yeah, are they fucking kidding me?" He like <laughs> turns around and like looks to see, "Are you guys seeing this?" It's like, "No, it's on your laptop." Uh, why? What do you? I, they are they are giving money away. I like, mean, you posted today on you posted today uh, on X, on X for the artist formerly known as yes. Twitter the uh, 
the the news clip of how men are not oh. having sex anymore <laughs> yes. because of sports gambling. I'm like, uh, oh, that's a ridiculous thing. But then watching the reactions, and I had the same one when I found my ladder. I was like, oh, <laughs> like just like maybe there's you something to, know to that. When to call. <laughs> there's yeah. something to that. Uh, I, there were some uh, there were some great reactions. Yeah. To the tweet, shout out to user Henry Diesel three quote. I knew I had a greater calling than meaningless intercourse. <laughs> <laughs> Parlays greater than pussy. Sorry, ladies. Woo. And this is, I said, I said, uh, la- you know, sorry, ladies. Something like men prefer the SGPN network. And then Aveta, true DGen said, and and us as mm. well. So there's some DGenettes out there. Uh, maybe uh, DGenetta. I was uh, throwing out there a nickname for Aveta. True uh, hashtag DGen. It, it, it is interesting only. how perturbed that lady looked just mm. around the idea that she like stock and pussy was going down. Well, and it was uh, like the stock. price is plummeting. <laughs> stock and pussy. It, it was uh, <laughs> it was great where she was like rambling about gambling and DraftKings, mm. and then also somehow tying it into the housing market yeah. of like. There's less homes being constructed because yeah. less dudes are having sex because yeah. more guys are gambling on sports. Because it was the yeah, craziest. Less men are being conned into thinking they need to have a, a <laughs> support additional uh, members that come outside out of the woman yeah. after that intercourse. <laughs> and so it was just I, I thought I've heard all the crazy was ex- theories being in gambling, well, but this was really she was kind of laying out like the the, the female racket. Yeah. Uh, like but women are probably going to get upset with her about yes. this. You're right. pulling back the she's, curtain. She's She's gonna get Epstein. You're ex- <laughs> you're ex- All of a sudden, she's not gonna be allowed to talk on the air anymore. It's like, damn woman, look out, uh, uh, CJ. What do you got? Getting shorted for sure. Um, in that in that ga- same game, uh, in that same game in the elements, I'll I'll part. I like to I like to piggyback as well. Um, Bears running back with Sean Johnson. Um, Ooh, his okay. his numbers absurdly low. They haven't thrown any ladders out there, but I imagine when it comes out, that would I will be jumping on that ladder. His over rushing prop is 14 and a half rushing yards. Whoa. Mm. Against this Lions defense, uh, we mentioned it, Kramer, when we were doing the handicap of the game, uh, Anzalone. Uh, he is he is out for that game. He's like one of their tackling uh, machines. Italians aren't into butt stuff. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a it's more of a Greek thing, but <laughs> yeah. um CJ, yeah, like Anzalone <laughs> being out, Roshan Johnson. Uh, clearly, he's getting more carries. Yeah, he's getting a lot more carries, and this is also the time where they're going to find out what they have him in the future. They don't need, they know what they have in that, you know, Devontae Foreman and uh, Khalil Herbert. They, he had seventy four percent of the snap share last game. Last yeah. time we saw the Bears, and sixty three percent of the running back rushing share, which is uh, pretty absurd. And sixteen uh, percent target if you want to do receiving. His combined rushing and receiving is only twenty five and a half. Either one I like. Um, if you want to dump off, but over 14 and a half rushing yards. And I think this could be a game where he does get over double digit carries. Um, when the latter props do come out, I'll be looking at that. The, uh, the fantasy nerds are very, very much aligned with CJ here. Mm. They feel like this, they saw the step up game. last. Yeah, week. it was a step up game. And now is it summertime when they, they have to find out what they have. Yes. 10, 10 carries. I mean, yeah, it's time. It's crazy. Dude backed up Bijan in college. Yeah, and clearly they're not like all in on Herbert, so it makes sense. Right, and see what you get with Herbert. Not I love for him, but you know he's Can professional. I mean, he's just an aging vet. Bold prediction: wherever Khalil Herbert ends up next, he's going to be really good. <laughs> hey, I yeah. think he's underrated. No, I no, I, I like Herbert. Um, d- for whatever the reason, the Bears don't seem as in they on him. They paid a guy and they drafted Johnson. It does. Like, they s- hate his six and a half yards of touch. <laughs> yeah, they I, hate. They it hate do- it. it. really doesn't make sense, and he looks good eye test too. Right. I, I don't get it. Love Khalil Herbert. He's got a great story too. Elite vision. Uh, you know who hasn't looked good this season? Austin Eckler. I'm taking his under 49 and a half rushing oh, yards. Uh, he just seems cooked. He, he oh. really does. I think it's the ankle injury. Um, Greedy. My uncle would blame, <laughs> yes. He'd blame it all in the holdout. I know what it is. <laughs> what is it? Well, Sean, he's trying to get into the content space. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, looks like he can't handle the grind, Sean. <laughs> And the Chargers are playing the Broncos. I think the Broncos. I mean, I, th- they do decent against the run. And even uh, even Staley was asked. He goes, "We're going to be more competitive when it comes to uh, carries." Basically, he was saying like, "Hey, Austin Eckler is not getting the job done. We need someone that can do it." Uh, Josh Kelly, I think, is kind of an interesting uh, angle here. But certainly, Austin Eckler under forty nine and a half. Like, mm. I don't think they've adjusted this down enough, especially if he doesn't get the amount of carries he's been getting. Yeah. I, he has that. He's had like s- over uh, seventy yards once this season. Yeah. It was game one. 
Like he just has not looked explosive at all. I, I think a lot of it is, well, the Chargers' offensive line not great, uh, but um, to your point though, Kelly uh, in the the yardage props will be interesting when they release him. Uh, I did notice also, Sean. He's plus. I think it's plus two fifty five, plus two sixty five in the anytime market. Wow. He certainly has looked like he's had some juice. Uh, mm. Last I mean, eight games for Eckler, he's only had uh, more than uh, like three point six yards per carry w- in one game. So if he's getting that bad yards per carry and he's getting less touches, he, how does he get to fifty yards? I don't see the path. Yeah, I mean, and and to the volume point, I don't think he's gotten more than fifteen carries, maybe once. Yeah. Uh, yeah, jo- Kelly, we're gonna. That's the Kelly, U- Kelly, 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 Kelly. We'll see how uh, it, it also. I mean, if you watch the the press conference of Staley from a different perspective, mm. he also just looks like a madman ramble. <laughs> oh, he does. <laughs> right. I know. Like he's so lost control of the is, situation. He's kind and it's of running just, back carries that it's going to take right. us over the hump. <laughs> he's a little unhinged. Kramer, uh, uh, what else do you like here? I don't know why that Kelly song came to my head. Remember the Cheers, Woody Harrelson Kelly song? Oh no, yeah. did, you remember that one? K E L L Y. Yeah, yeah. Why? Because you're Kelly, 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 yeah, Kelly, Kelly. I, I strangely do have. Yeah. I have a lot of childhood memories. Sure, of that, that, but that's one of those always popped in their head. They would repeat during school. Damian Pierce, your guy, Sean. Dog. Mm. He's uh, he's back. Yes. They started giving him the work again last week. I. Uh, Two to two to one carries, basically. I think he had fifteen to single Terry's eight. And the yardage prop, thirty seven and a half. This is very low. You look at where they've made the number uh, all year before he got hurt. It was forty five and a half, fifty and a half, fifty and a half, fifty six and a half, fifty and a half. And uh, now co- coming back again, very inefficient last week, but did have fifteen carries. In the matchup this week, we think that's the way that they're going to have to attack the Jets. Maybe he's the physical back. Thirty-seven and a half rushing yards is comically low for yeah. the guy. Fifteen. He went over this number last week with a horribly inefficient game where he averaged less than three yards a carry. Yeah, and uh, no Tank Dell, so you would expect uh, they're going to be running oh, the no. ball more. Uh oh! Looks like our uh, our main light got knocked out. Hey, there's maybe some candle light. We'll get. Uh, we're, we're gonna we're gonna put some candle wax on this ladder. <laughs> Still looking pretty good on the screen, honestly. YouTube.com slash Sports Game sure. Podcast. Just a kind little dim. Yeah, a little chill vibe here. Yeah, my big don glasses reflect <laughs> a little better. It looks like some someone lost the better. So, oh, there oh, we go. Oh, we're back. All right. I was just watching a, a, a an Italian uh, man who may have been uh, may or may not been in the mob mm-hmm. and served some time. He was getting interviewed, and a lot of similarities <laughs> between you and him, yeah. uh, especially with the, the, put very... the lights out. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Damian Pierce over thirty seven and a half. Right. Right. CJ, how see you. I'll also go one of those solid backs, just just as boring back who came back. I, I, I like Damian Pierce as well. Yeah, but, thank um, you, thank you. Uh, in that Cleveland Jacksonville game, gaming out in the elements, uh, I like Jerome Ford. Oh, Cleveland yeah. um, he's also uh, not overtaking, but he's getting a lot of usage out of there, especially with Joe Flacco. I like the way Cleveland's going to look, and that Jacksonville defense looked terrible on Monday night. Yeah. So this is how I'm going to attack it. They are the biggest gap between the eye test and the numbers. Because right. every time I look at the numbers, it's like, all right, yeah, let's go. And then you watch them play, and you're like, what the fuck is this? Yeah, I know. And I think a lot of it has to do with being, well, obviously their opponents in that division and sure. and and their game script. Um, so I think Cleveland, and they've been they were getting gashed for long runs too. It wasn't just uh, like plow like four yards in a cloud of dust, as we put our man Chase Scott. In there, who almost ripped it up for us, Chase Brown. Yeah, Chase Brown was a fun you know, uh, late ad. Absolutely, he was great late ad. He would just pop off eighteen at the top. So I'm going to go. Ford's n- numbers forty eight and a half, sixty seven and a half combined. You can mess around with that. I like his longest rush though at thirteen and a half. The way I saw that Ooh. Jacksonville defense getting gashed like that, I can, Jerome Ford is he's got to pop up a 15, 14 yarder or a twenty yarder, and then you're done with it. He's popping on all the elusive metrics. And mm-hmm. the elusive work, pops. Yeah. And I and I do wonder. It's like <clears throat> Kareem Hunt's like become a very sp- certain kind of back. So yeah, I, yeah. I like Ford. I mean, all of the all the the fantasy nerds love him. Love all the efficiency Nerd! stuff. Love love how good he looks he'll doing be a, everything. Yeah, he'll be a Chase Brown, if you will, but with a little more trust. I'll get more. He'll get the ball I, even more. 
Ah, uh, yeah, they have, they have, it's like they just have a surplus. Why I don't even know why they traded for Pierre Strong. It's, <laughs> no, they, no, right. it's almost like they don't need him, and we love him too. It's, <laughs> it's unbelievable, Sean. Uh, yeah, for me, I will look to Alvin Kamara over fifty nine and a half rushing yards. I mean, this Panthers team they are horrific. Uh, at stopping the run, Saints are at home, still dealing with some banged up receivers themselves. Uh, you have Jameis Winston as your quarterback, who clearly uh, Dennis Allen doesn't trust that much. So I think they're just <laughs> going to hit. I, well, cl- I mean, clearly they were doing everything they could to not put him in there. Now maybe Taysom Hill is their go-to running back. I don't know. And Kamara gets this. I haven't seen the combined rushing receiving yards. Maybe that's it, but. For now, I will uh, stick with over 59 and a half rushing yards for Alvin Kamara. He's just going to get a bunch of carries against an inefficient defense that I, whatever sort of bounce the Panthers got, um, that bounce is now gone uh, <laughs> from Frank Reich. They are just, uh, they're in a brutal spot here, especially going on the road. So give me Kamara over. Fifty nine and a half rushing yards, and whenever Taysom Hill's you rush, if they release a Taysom yes. Hill rushing prop, I think it's it's a mandatory. Now, is there an update on him? I, I was hearing he was banged up in a couple different areas. Taysom. Oh Hill. no, I oh. didn't. I didn't see that. Taysom Hill. I'll have to take a look. No. Um, uh, you know he's a, he's a tough. He's a he tough, is tough. Coach's <laughs> son. He'll he'll get through. Tough it. Mormon. I, I I still think it's so impressive that Taysom Hill. Is still getting all this playing time. We always thought it was just a Sean Payton personally liked him, right. but now he's he's uh plays every position. Yes, blocks, uh, throws, uh, catches. Update on uh, Taysom Hill. He did not practice dealing with a foot and left hand. Shit. <laughs> so he still got a right hand yeah, and a right, uh, foot. right foot. Yeah, I mean he uses all those. <laughs> he's he's the switchblade, right? So I wanted to see them all. Oh boy, what's going on in that? Patriot? Oh wow! Oh uh, well, there goes my uh, Patriots first drive punt. Oh no! Uh, just yes. down the tube. But there goes Bailey Zappi. But there, but there goes the Juju revenge angle. I oh yeah, he's already hitting those props. And, and relax. <laughs> I think he just smashed Sean, it. Relax. He's there's plenty of opportunity for to a sack. Go, uh, go backwards for a punt. Yeah. But there's a Juju catch. But yeah, right now they are in field goal range, so a lot of things going wrong right now. Kramer, what do you got? Uh, let's go, Debo Samuel. I, mm. Oh God. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> he's on our youth league. He uh, really he's helped. He's going to win us a bunch of money. And I'm still going to fucking hate his. He guts. really helped us last week. Just get over the hump. Uh, massive, massive comeback. Uh, really felt good, honestly, to, to watch it happen. Mm. Unfortunately, it was against your Eagles, Sean, but they, uh, so we look at the, where his receiving number has, has closed every week. And it's pretty much sitting there doing the same thing. 50 and a half. This week it's fifty and a half. That's what it closed against the Eagles. Be- week before that, forty-five and a half, forty-five and a half, fifty and a half against the Jags. He's he's gone over in games. He wasn't held to zero. Cardinals and Browns. There may be an injury in there. Mm. Only went under this number once all season. Yeah, I mean they get a ton. It of, does uh, seem like it's uh it's a low number. Last three he's gone over. A lot of ways to look at it where he's going to get over this this number, especially against the Seahawks, the way they're going to play against this team. We just watched him go over this 79 yards. Uh, that might have only been on three catches. So, yeah, I, I think Debo's feeling himself right now. The offense is working. And when the offense is working, Debo's gonna, 50 and a half is just a low number. So maybe he gets taken out of the game, but doesn't doesn't seem like. I think that's being a competitive game. Yeah, I yeah. I mean, it is a. I, I I do worry. It's like a letdown spot. Um, yeah. Well, I don't worry. I, I I'm <laughs> oh, guessing right. that it's a letdown spot for <laughs> them uh, there because y- you listen to like Bosa and Bosa's talking about. Uh, oh yeah, we we gave the uh, blueprint on how to beat the Eagles and the Cowboys. Shouldn't you be focused about the Seahawks, right. Bosa? Wow, CJ, what do you got? Wow, spell blueprint, Bosa. So, <laughs> oh. Roy dead. Anyway, oh, I'm, wow. just, I'm oh, just, I'm oh. just joking. He's a racist. Anyway, <laughs> that's a fact. I saw that on Twitter. Um, I was going to go with a uh, wide receiver here, and uh, this is a number that has ladder potentials, but I'll just go with the regular prop here, and that's um, in that Indianapolis. Cincinnati game, another another team that I think another one with the bad defense. Well, besides Jacksonville, was the Bengals defense, which is also getting worse. And uh, 
Usually you've been hitting the Josh Dobbs, but I want to I want to veer off that one, zing the zag, and I'm going to go with Alec Pierce. Ooh, who, okay. Who has uh, maybe stepped back into the number two role? He had six targets last week, uh, 100 yards and a touchdown. 50, back backbreaker in uh, yeah, overtime. Fifty if you became were a Titans back. Yeah, fifty <laughs> became an overtime. I was on the Titans, missed extra point, killed us. Oh my god. Uh, but but Mister did like Pierce, and that offense is just opening up, and I think it's I think actually it's going to be. I don't know if a shootout, but I mean, I think there will be points in there. Who was that? Just Zeke Elliott just scored the first uh, touchdown for the New England boo. Patriots. That is a disgusting. <laughs> act. This game's already. Well, it's, good, it's good to know. I, we, uh, and just imagine all those no touchdown bets I I've been washed out. I love it. That that makes me happy. But <laughs> Zeke's number was like six to one. It was yeah. not not even worth playing. No, not at all. Who would good. even want a six to one ticket to cash right now? That'd be no, terrible. Uh, anytime that happens. In the First I'd rip it up out of principle. Anyway, uh, his total is totals two and a half and 29 and a half out Pierce for man who had a hundred yards and a touchdown last week going against a Bengals defense. That is absolutely abysmal. Um, he's stepping up, he, which was double the targets of jobs. Dobbs had a bad game. He'll might have a bounce yeah. back. Pittman was a monster. I want to share, but I think there's, there's plenty of plenty to go around for 29 and a half yards for Alec Pierce. It is a low number and he does seem to be getting worked into that deep role, yeah, which absolutely, which will be coming up in my degen parlay as a little mm. teaser. Mm. I do like uh I do like CJ's pronunciation of degen. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Hashtag degens only. <laughs> <laughs> Doing an impression of a wrong soundbite. Yes. <laughs> I love uh, that. For me, uh, I'm going to the uh, Ravens. Going to go to Isaiah Likely over mm. three and a half receptions. I do also like his anytime, even though it's a little short at plus two ninety. Um, but I'll officially give out Isaiah Likely over three and a half catches. Uh, Rams have allowed a bunch of uh, production to the tight ends, including uh, six touchdowns, bunch of catches, and he was the leading receiver against the Chargers. I, 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 it seems like the tight end is really important to this Ravens offense. Three and a half catches over feels pretty low. I, I would be su- pretty surprised if. Isaiah likely didn't go over this number. Although Lamar Jackson dealing with a mystery illness, we'll see what that means uh, for the game come Sunday. Brian, you're a Ravens backer. Are you worried about Lamar Jackson? No, nah, he just ate too much. Yes, yeah. he's, he's just got a little. A little he does. Bet, bet detective figured that out outside. Okay. Me, me and Kramer are on the case. Yeah. He's got that Allen Iverson diet. You know, twenty Taco Bells. Yeah, some flaming hot Cheetos. Now, he did leave a game once to take a shit. So right, who knows? that's what I mean. He's always kind of thing. Always things are turbulent inside of him. Uh, maybe you want to go see this uh, Ravens. Uh, yeah. Rams game, of course, keep uh, keep uh, six feet distance from Lamar Jackson, <laughs> but uh, you can get pretty good seats over on Game Time. Game Time is a perfect holiday gift, and when you use the promo code SGPN, you get twenty dollars off. Imagine saving money for your gift that you're going to give to someone. That's a nice deal, and uh, pretty easy to get started. All you do is go to GameTime.co or fire up the Game Time app. Use that promo code SGPN. Twenty dollars off your first purchase for Game Time. Very easy to find the seats you want. You can see, um, you know, see where your seats are at. See the view you'll actually have of the game. They got the low ticket guarantee, or low price guarantee. Of course, if you can find a cheaper uh, sec, cheaper price, same section, same row, they'll refund 110. percent GameTime.co. Download the app. Promo code SGPN. And we're also brought to you by Underdog Fantasy. Use that promo code SGPN. Get set up over on Underdog Fantasy. 100% deposit match up to $100. Of course, pick them is so fun uh, to get down on. Higher, lower, some of your favorite fantasy projections. Ryan, you just mentioned uh, Damian Pierce. You like him. Uh, underdog, uh, you can take him to get a touchdown and get a 1.5x spicy play. Spicy plays are so fun to toss in there. Listen to that spice. Uh, fun way to get down on some fantasy higher lowers. Underdog Fantasy promo code SGPN. 100% deposit match up to $100. Kramer, what's another uh, prop you like out here? Uh, Mitchell Trubisky takes the field with a seven point deficit. That uh, seems like a horrible situation. Not a great to be place in. to start. Justin Fields, anytime touchdown, plus yeah. 170. Oh, yeah. The, uh, man, the man who took his job. Rep- dog. Resting Mitch face I had last week. Yeah, <laughs> the the par- the connections to my yeah. my play here, but yeah, Fields on the ground against Detroit. Everyone knows the number. He he's been shredding them his entire career. 
not sure why his like why is this not priced like a Jalen Hurts anytime touchdown? Yeah, uh, I mean, especially the matchup against the Lions, exactly he runs right. all over them. It's mm. crazy. So to I I was fully prepared to give this out at plus one fifty, maybe even less, plus one seventy. Yeah, found that, some money in the street, Sean. That mm. is a crazy price. Um, do you know what his career splits are for uh, touchdowns against the Lions, Ryan? Don't care. Okay. But no, I can pull it up. No, I was just gonna. Uh, I have it right here. He has two rushing touchdowns in four games against the Lions. But again, like he clearly owns them. They're clearly cool with him running a bunch. Um, so yeah, like the angle and and the price is great. Uh, I'd also I didn't want to do the same thing I did last time, but I'll definitely be and I, not even gonna give it out in the latter segment. But I the all. Rushing yards for fields again. You might oh, as well. Yeah, uh, run it back. I mean, the ladder. It was nine to one last time at hundred yards. And what not is that. it? Do you know the price now? Let's see. I I didn't even look it up because it. I didn't want to be basic. People get mad when we <laughs> give out the same thing. Oh no, they're not. It's not being dangled yet. All right, mm-hmm. stay tuned for that. CJ, what do you got for the good folks? Uh, it's amazing how correlated all our plays are. I'm also, yeah. go, I'm also going with a quarterback oh. rushing prop. Ooh, yes. Love a good QB rush prop. Who are you going with? Uh, man, it should have a big game versus one of the worst uh, pass defenses in the league, and that's the uh, that's uh, that Russell Wilson. Oh, I have Wilson too. I'm glad I got an extra you guys one. Guys are on the All same right. cycle. Well, I'm not doing a passing one. I'm doing rushing attempts. Yes. Oh, rushing attempts. Attempts. Okay. His rushing yardage was what? Twenty seven and a half, something like 26 that. Twenty six and a half. Twenty six yeah. and a half. I like both, but you right. go for the attempts. So I'll go with the attempts. You can. I'll let you have the yards. Uh, he's averaging eight attempts a game recently. Last. Uh, Four weeks. So recently, he's been picked it up as he's been cooking. As and it's no, uh, it's no coincidence. Denver's also playing yeah. and getting up wins when he wants when he's starting to run the ball. Um, so you got it's a five and a half is a prop for his rushing attempts and for twenty seven and a half yard for twenty six and a half yards. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Mitch Trubisky <laughs> just threw a it. horrible <laughs> interception. There's a flag on the play. Thank God. <laughs> but this should be a game show. Try to try to sound positive as you're watching Mitch Trubisky th- burn your money away. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be like uh, Dark Side of the Moon, where people will go back and watch this episode and sync it up to yeah, the game. I hope they lose. And I'm thinking, that even though I, I do have Steelers oh. minus six, in it, I hope they lose outright because uh, they lost me my Survivor last yeah. week. And I would have definitely had him this week because I set it up for this, so I want him to lose again. Um, so you like Russell Wilson? What, what, is his <laughs> rush, what is his rushing attempts, Russell Wilson? Five and a half. Is oh the over God. rushing okay. attempts. You know what? Because I I like yards, but I kind of like attempts better. Right. Because your point, like he's a willing rusher. Chargers have bad linebackers, mm-hmm. but they still can get a little bit of a pass rush. Yeah. That's a perfect formula. And Wilson, I feel like has been taken off. Mm-hmm. Chargers are actually pretty decent. Yardage wise against QB run, so that was slightly scaring me off. And I still, I still like the yards, but I, I kind of like the uh, attempts officially. Better. And you get the sneaks. And Kramer helped me out on Monday night when everyone was talking about Trevor Lawrence rushing yard uh, uh, props, which did not, of course, hit. No, but Kramer said, you know what? Try that attempts, and I threw that down on underdog. Yeah, and that finished up, and I got a big win because of that and. Uh, <laughs> Sadly or happy enough, depends uh, on how you look at it. That last play where his leg went back over, bend over backwards, they counted that as an attempt. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't know if they were counting him going through the corridors yes, without the golf cart, but that was also that was his fifth rushing attempt, which binked it. So get Let's well go. soon, Trevor. Uh, they did ask him, do do the Jaguars have carts? And apparently they do have carts, yeah. but he he's too uh, tough. He thought he cart. was gonna tough it out and not take the cart. Well, they also had to tighten the budget when they have some of their workers are stealing twenty two million dollars. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> for nine, you know, there was another watches. report that came out that like apparently ninety nine percent of it was gambling losses. Oh wow. <laughs> that's great. I like that. Uh, yeah. That's probably nothing wrong. So uh it's totally normal. All right, I'm going. Uh, my last prop before we get to the ladders. Uh, this is an 18 to one a uh, bink here. Give me Eric Sober anytime touchdown 18 to one. Mm. Kramer's enjoying my pronunciation. Mm-hmm. You may not have heard of him. That's that's because he's the third <laughs> string tight end for the Houston Texans. I don't think he's French. Uh, we don't know that. We don't know that, Ryan. Um, Jets, they're playing the Jets. Jets yep. are tied for the league lead in touchdowns allowed to the tight end at seven. So uh a uh, kind of a decent matchup there. Uh so Bear, uh he's g- expected to see more snaps <laughs> with the 12 personnel against the Jets. Dalton Schultz is out. 
Uh, so Bear did have a, a catch last game. Brevin Jordan had three catches. He's plus two ninety. Eric Saubert, as Ryan, uh, Ryan uneducated uh, ass uh, yeah. likes to pronounce it. Uh, he's eighteen hundred and. He had one catch, so I I think it's a little bit closer between Brevin Jordan and Eric Sobert. Uh Eighteen to one is a delicious price, yes. kind of a long shot bet here, but love a long shot tight end uh, just to get a tutty. Love a Frenchman tight end. Um, real quick though, is Don Schultz officially out? It see it's not quite official, but it does seem. I know you're a quarterback high. health expert. Are you yes. are you ruling Schultz out? <laughs> I asked Moonoff, who is a uh, okay. Houston Texans insider. Okay. He told me um, he Fair is enough. out. All so right. good. I stay like tuned. It. I'm not going to bet it until we hear Schultz is officially out. But um, yeah, more or less, pretty much. Either way, like you said, they're going double tight apparently, and that because Tank Dell is out. Yes, so they're It'll just going to add more to it. So, yeah. uh, Kramer, Eric Saubert, Saubert. Eric Saubert. Is yeah. that him introducing it? That doesn't okay. mean anything. He doesn't Eric know. Yeah, he doesn't. He he's, was a, just, he's just a kid. He's Americanized. He yeah, Ryan. he's a kid. He doesn't know. <laughs> that's, um, yeah, that's his American accent coming through. He, uh, it's kid, not his first it's, language. Uh, souffle. You right. fucking idiot. <laughs> he went to Drake. Fifth round pick by the Falcons. Nah, well, we can't. Actually, it's unreliable narrator. Then. Actually, it's uh, turns out it's German. So oh. I don't even know. Uh, <laughs> well, I, I like that one. Then everyone's wrong. <laughs> yes. Uh, all right. They like their teas in Germany. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Kramer, time to break out the ladders. CJ, do you have for the? Uh, here we go. Get the stick out, as we learned from Boston Capper. That's what the really stick. long ladder is called. If you're Pull watching on, yes, we have <laughs> so many ladders. <laughs> you see, <laughs> CJ's doing a great uh, splitting of the ladders. <laughs> you can just hear if you're listening uh, on audio. Oh, oh right, that that looks hilarious because it wow. almost looks like the ladder's going right to your mouth, <laughs> just loading up some meatballs in that thing, Tommy like, DeVito yeah, style. Gulliver's Travels or something. The <laughs> <laughs> little, little guy's gonna tie you up. Um, all right, Kramer, do you want to start? What's your what's your ladder for this week? Sure. It's cut. Kind of, it's kind of in the way of me able to talk into the mic. So right. I went to the Philadelphia Eagles. Not everyone can expert to ladder chatter. No. Dog. I, uh, I I noticed that there were some people outside the building holding up signs. Run the ball. Run the ball. Run mm. the damn ball. Yep. Uh, I I kind of shooting my shot here, assuming one of you might be on this as well. But DeAndre Swift's mm. rushing ladder. Mm. Not on it, but I like where, the angle. If you had to guess, where do you think his first step is? Oh man. I would say fifty. Yeah, fifty and a half rushing yards. Okay. Wow. And then we're just gonna jump up eighty yards plus three thirty, ninety yards plus five hundred, a hundred yards eight to one. Wow. Hundred yards is eight to one. Yeah. That's bonkers. So, I have a bonus one too. <laughs> but you guys go first, and then I'll uh, swing. Oh, you're double out. laddering on us. Well, I'll save it for the DJ. How about that? Okay. All right. I don't know why that made me laugh. That made the hundred well. to one. Hundred hundred yards is eight to one. That's bonkers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's crazy. No, it is bonkers. You're uh, right. But the way you said it, mixed to up, the moon sounds like a good soundbite. <laughs> that's I mean, fuck, bonkers. I would pull that if I were you guys. Uh, uh, but you're right. That is that does seem insane for DeAndre Swift. They will yeah. run the ball, and DeAndre Swift. I was saying. He's been borderline the Eagles MVP this year. Kind of a boomer bust guy, also. Mm. So, uh, absolutely. You know. Yeah. yeah. Are they gonna Are they gonna stick to the run? Aren't they? I do think they. Mm. Um. Yeah, I was talking to my dad. He thinks oh. they should run the ball more. Um, really. A lot of people are calling for more running the ball. It's in the funny Eagles how old, old people come out of like yeah, the yeah. woodwork when it's. Ah, uh, see, you're not running the ball. They're, uh. they're getting cute with it. I like when they say. <laughs> I like they think a forward pass is getting cute. We're we're imitating <laughs> old people and Colby. Oh, look at these guys that they're forward pass. Oh, they think they are. <laughs> All right. Uh, for my prop, I'm going to go to the Colts Bengals game for my ladder. Mm. Colts have allowed 708 receiving yards. To the tight end, which could be a problem because Jake Browning has a Tanner Hudson connection. Whoa. Uh, he's had four catches, Tanner, in uh, four catches or more in, in his last five games. So even even with um, Burrow in there, he was getting some momentum. Had four catches for 40 uh, against the Jags. I think they're going to be able to get going here a little bit uh, with Tanner Hudson. 45 yards is plus 240. 
55 yards. Very reasonable for Tanner Hudson. Plus 525. Hmm. 65 yards. Plus 1095. Uh, <laughs> 75 yards at a Tanner Hudson. A very believable number for Tanner Hudson, considering the matchup, considering the Browning connection. Ryan, what do you think that's priced at? 10 to 1. Ryan, you're wrong. It is priced at twenty two seventy, just on, for seventy five yards. Yes, that's right. All right, that's a very that's belief. not that's ridiculous. <laughs> I'm getting you a Tanner Hudson uh, fat head. All right, that's incredible. I like that. Come that's on. bonkers. That's that's, that's bonkers. bonkers right there. Um, that's, Giants really should have kept him. They yeah, could, they could have used him. I think you've hit on to something, and that's uh, just real quick. One one final stat. One two three four four. Um, Sean counts the four. Yeah, four out of his five career highs in receiving yards have come in the past uh, month and a half. Yeah, so he's he's clearly heating up. This is his ride time. the Tanner Hudson wave, is what I'm telling you. You know, a, a couple of years ago, uh, Sean would not have been playing slots and definitely not been backing the a guy named Tanner. Slot. Yeah, Tanner Tanner is on my list of names that aren't real names, but. <laughs> My love of uh, you know uh, backup ish, although I think Tanner Hudson is technically the starter, but backup ish tight ends uh, trumps that. So I'm just, I'm just giggling. It's Tanner time. Giggling at this Patriots offense all of a sudden looking <laughs> prolific, confident. Against the Steelers. All right, CJ. What do you got, it's CJ? The moment everyone's been waiting for. Again, I don't know if it's just osmosis, it's the sync, the the pat, the rhythms Ooh. that we're in, but I'm Ooh. also we're like like women who get on the same yeah. cycle. <laughs> we are. We spend so much time together. Absolutely, it's amazing how uh, correlated all our plays. <laughs> and I also have a fake name, mm. tight end. Mm. And you've hit something in there, which I was uh, my new when you peak when you peaked that over two thousand. And that's what they do with these tight ends. They they work you, they work you the ladder. Next thing you know, bang, you're boom, you're, you're window washing, you're a skyscraper. <laughs> You're in don't look down territory. You're don't look down, and we'll pull that out here. Because first, we're going to pull out the regular ladder, and we're going to do that Tampa Bay Atlanta game. Kate Otten, for Tampa Bay. Now, now Atlanta. Oh, I love this angle. Atlanta last, uh, I think, we'll, uh, give up the fourth most points to tight ends, uh, fantasy wise, without giving up a touchdown. Yeah. Hmm. Now that says to me. They give up a lot of yards. Yes. And a lot of receptions to tight end position. Yes. So this is perfect for a tight end ladder for K Dot, who is a starter, who has had off weeks, but he's has come back. He had like five or six uh the last couple c- couple weeks of, of targets and receptions. So he's getting his groove back. First ring, the first <laughs> like, like first, Stella. Like Stella, Cade, first rung of 24 and a half. Oh wow. wow. Very, like very two, achievable. That's like a catcher too. That's just a catcher too for this game. For a t- for a team that gives up multiple yards to Atlanta to uh tight ends. Uh we'll jump right up to forty five. That's plus two fifteen and fifty five yards at plus four sixty five. You got K dot mm. right oh, around I, here. You're gonna need some help with maybe another ladder. <laughs> yep, I might, might need a ladder. Well, yeah, come on. Let's start some Tampa. real building over well, here. Well, I got something coming up. And then you have to, to get to that ladder, sixty five yards. Is plus nine seventy. Wow! And now, what well, you were bringing on, Sean, the ladder turns into the scaffolding. <laughs> Whoa! And that's when you hook it up. And that's when you, this is the don't look down special. When you hook it up, you're you're window washing to John oh, Hancock, man. if you will. Seventy five yards, very believable. Uh, that's reasonable. Reasonable. Plus twenty thirty. Oh, okay, come, oh, on. come on! Oh my God! Oh, the fat Joe all the way up going all the way up. Do not look down special K dot in 2030 Kramer. We have a the dis- new, the new have- blonde is a good ladder. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, I, I know what that lady is saying. Cause I'm way hornier than I normally am with that long extended ladder that CJ has. Never she gotten, must be on to something. The never, Jalen Guyton's. never gotten 22 to one for pussy. <laughs> no, no, it does not. It, oh, it, it's a much better value. <laughs> If anything, it pays the other way. It's a shoot, not a ladder. Uh, love it. Oh, it's a shoot in so many ways. <laughs> uh, Kramer, I but mean, thank you for help, help helping me yeah. get my ladder up, Kramer. Speaking of, well, <laughs> and, and I, I actually had, yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a ladder fluffer. Yeah, you are. A fluffer. I, I, had a, I had a, I had a thought. We can see. It. Oh, oh, wow, yes, sir, Kramer, what are you doing over yes, there? Yes, sir. Look at this. We're crossing beams. 
I'm just thinking we could potential. Oh my goodness. Look how far. This, oh, this is your, this is your <laughs> oh my God. We could hang it from the ceiling. This is your paper parlay. We, Here, we can it. Vic, yeah, hang call it. Oh, <laughs> my my fictional bird Barry would love this. Would have a great. I can't, wait. I can't wait for the landlord to move in to come in and be like, "What the hell is going on?" In here? You guys playing with ladders in here? Oh, not necessarily. We're we're working some things it out is here. It is amazing to look back and to see this ladder world that's been created here. Yes. Let wow. me, you know where it started, where it began, kind of you know the pictures of you guys in the garage here. This is my where it began, where it began, where, <laughs> where it, is it started. Yeah, where it started. Now rope ladders, there's cats on the helmets. We're going from the roof <laughs> down to the table. I I, uh, I do think the again, if you just do a basic uh, social media trend oh. trend search, the oh. ladder, ladder emoji. emojis. Come on, I would never seen a ladder emoji. It's ridiculous <laughs> in the uh, in the past six months. I mean, oh. now they're everywhere. Imitation is the highest form of yeah. compliment. As it they is. say, you know, so all I can say is, you know, I obviously didn't invent the ladder, but I did make no. it cool. We did know? celebrate the ladder. Right, for sure. <clears throat> ladder Llama. All right, we got our DJ uh, only bets coming up. And of course, uh, Sunday night football, first touchdown, Eagles, Burr, or uh, Eagles, Cowboys. Whoa. Cowboys suck, obviously. You know what doesn't suck? Hello, Fresh. Say hello to stressless holiday season with the help of Hello, Fresh. Skip the grocery store and save time with easy, tasty recipes. Delivered right to your door. Full day of work, aka hanging out, drinking, grinding out parlays and ladders. Uh, you know, you're tired, and making a wholesome meal uh, is really a lot of work. Uh, luckily, they got you covered with some 15 minute meals. Spend your time this month shopping for gifts, sipping coca, not stuck in the checkout line. Again, making food can be a real hassle, and HelloFresh takes away all of the hassle. HelloFresh has over 45 recipes and more than 100 seasonal add on items to choose from every week. So it's easier than ever to find something everyone will enjoy. And best part, who doesn't enjoy free stuff? Go to hellofresh.com slash S G P and free and use code S G P and free for free breakfast for life. That's right. One breakfast item per box while subscription is active. That's free breakfast for life at hellofresh.com slash S G P and free with code S G P and free. And of course, we're also brought to you by hall of fame bets and their revolutionary power lay optimizer tool to get hit rates broken down by leg as well as expected probability for the entire parlay. Uh, great for putting together these DJ only parlays. You can see which ones are green, which ones are red, which ones you want to add in, which ones you want to avoid. And Hall of Fame bets very reasonably priced, uh, especially when you consider uh, you get fifty percent off your first month. That's right. Use code SGPN to get fifty percent off your first month. Download the Hall of Fame bets app or visit hofbets.com. Promo code SGPN. Kramer, what do you, you want to do? First touchdown. Yeah, let's do first touchdown. Okay, what do you got? Uh, I'll go last. I don't okay. want to. I'll I'll uh, up mm. the degree of difficulty for me. All right. I will go first. And uh, for me, first touchdown. Uh, I guess you could consider playing uh, Jalen Hurts at seven to one. Uh, that was, <clears throat> okay. Wrong price. You know um, the rule. Yeah, it's it's a little mm. short. For me, first touchdown, Dallas got her at 18 to one. I do think he's involved early and often. Mm -hmm. Like that price. Uh, Eagles defensive and special teams touchdown, 35 <laughs> to one. Very generous considering uh, Dak's history of sucking and turning the ball over. And last but not least, I'm telling you, one of these days, now maybe I'm shooting my wad before the Giants game, but Boston Scott at 75 <laughs> to 1 is just improperly yeah. priced. Give me the Boston Scott. Wrong team. But you're uh, right. e Eagles are tough because they usually go chalky, and my model doesn't have the Cowboys scoring a touchdown. So, kind of in a hole here. It's but weird. those are some fun, longer shots mm. uh, for the Eagles. CJ, what do you like here in the first <clears throat> touchdown market? I'll give out three, and I'm not sure I like them. I do like <laughs> the first one though. Kenneth Gainwell at 28 to yeah. one. I don't. I don't even. They understand use it near this. the goal line. That's I don't crazy. understand this number. He's hit this a couple times. This yep. year. He's had the first touchdown. I mean, he brings it, he, especially when inside when they get in the red zone. Now, occasionally we'll come as a goal line back, but a lot of times he gets some screens and bubble screens out there and in, round inside the ten, and he scored. Several first touchdowns. So 20, yeah. 28 to one, I think is a crazy price for Gainwell. Um two fifty five the ones. One on the Dallas one on the Dallas side. Uh a revenge game for himself. Oh, angle, angle for himself. 
<laughs> he came uh, maybe two inches away from scoring a touchdown the last time these guys made it up, and that is tight end Luke Shoemaker Ooh. as he fell down right on the goal line. Um, he's at fifty-five to one. That and, is crazy. And he gets some pack. He it's not just that he does get looks in the red zone, and obviously is the the, the backup ish tight ends over there. And uh, another one, big game, primetime game. This is what you sign this guy for, Julio Jones at fifty-five to one. Oh. Ooh. Okay, I would keep an eye on Julio because uh, yeah. just keep an eye on Julio because he's not practicing. Uh, mm -hmm. he's, oh, he's dealing, banged up, huh? He, well, yeah, I mean, I, he's a veteran. Yeah, he has a veteran. Could be a, could be a vet rest day. Yeah, it's a it's a late in the game. Of course, it's a vet rest day. Uh, Kramer. Oh wow, I'm seeing the Eagles spread up to four and a half now over on Bet Rivers. That is fucking disrespectful. Wow, Kramer. Uh, unrelated. That's but weird. Cause I don't mind Philly. This is four and a half. That's yeah, a, that I, I does like seem that. like a big number. That sounds like a buy. Hmm. Hmm. All right, Kramer. What do you got? First uh, touchdown. Uh, well, I had a long list of names. I think I'm going to scratch off a bunch of them. Uh, give me Jake Ferguson from the Cowboys. Mm -hmm. That's Dax guy. Uh, CD's too too short. And eleven to one. Uh, it's the only Cowboy I'm taking. Then I'm going to take three Eagles. Give me Dallas Goddard in the get back game. Mm -hmm. And then give me the two receivers, AJ Brown's 12 to one Devonta Smith's 13 to one. So getting the top three receiving targets for Jalen hurts here. Let's go. Um, and that's so, the, yeah. I mean, the defense so, looks terrible for Seattle. Sorry, cereal. <laughs> you don't need to apologize to cereal. He's, he's used to the uh, Cowboys. I know. I'm, a, I'm aware of cereals, Cowboys. Uh, <laughs> Affiliation, love cereal, but yes, there's only one of the good ones. We all have, like to say, yeah, we all have our kryptonite. All right, time for everyone's favorite hashtag digits only. So, uh, and this is inspired by the chat because uh, someone in the chat, and uh, I forget who it was that said this. Uh, Goat James is uh, on a similar. Uh, he likes uh, Alvin Kamara and Jerome Ford. Two touchdown parlay. I'm gonna go something similar to that. I'm doing AT Perry. Mm. Two touchdowns. You can get that fifty to one. I also like Jerome Ford, two touchdowns. I don't have a price, but I also like those parlayed together. Ryan, if you had to guess, what do you think Jerome Ford would be and what would the parlay pay out? What was the other price? AT Perry, two touchdowns is fifty to one. All right. So what do you think Jerome Ford's anytime is gonna be like one eighty? Yeah, so I'm guessing his two touchdown will be like fifteen to one, maybe. Okay. <clears throat> so then, I mean, you're dealing with, I mean, you you you're dealing with a situation where you're going to be in the seven, you know, seven fifty to one or something. Yeah. You're going to be. This is going to be a big, big, big. You're calling international. Oh yeah. So <clears throat> so I do like the at Perry angle, <clears throat> leaning into Jameis. Yeah, they seem to have something going on. So if hypothetically it's fifty to one and fifteen to one. Uh, that would be eight one five zero zero. So a hundred dollar bet would pay you eighty one thousand five hundred. Eight hundred to one base. Yeah, that's like yeah. a international sex line they're calling. Right there. <laughs> back of a magazine. Hello. Speaking of that MSNBC report. All right, now I'll officially give it out at eight hundred to one. Those two parlay <laughs> together. I love it. Kramer, what do you got? You're officially going to give that out. Mm -hmm. okay. Officially. All right. Um. Well, I so I did have a second ladder. I I, did, I don't know if that's uh, interesting to to everyone, but yeah. if you were interested in a second ladder, of course, I do enjoy the Kyle Granson ladder. Oh yeah, okay. Mm. Snap share kind of all over the place. Probably will keeping the number down. His, I think he got forty percent. Uh, a couple other guys got thirty percent last week, but twenty five is two to one. 40, 40 yards is five to one and 50 yards is 10 to one. So he gets 50 receiving yards. You get a 10 to one bet. That's certainly fun. Uh, I would, I'm going to invest a little bit in that, but my, my D gens bet, <clears throat> which I'm not even, I have two bets here. If you are allowed to tie them together, go for it. Um, and let me see what was the price. All right. So here's what we're going to do. Jameis and the price has come down since I've Freaking wrote this down earlier. Jameis Winston to lead the league in passing yards on, oh, sun wow. on okay. Sunday. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Definitely could see that happening. 35 to 1. Yeah. Wow. Second one, DeAndre Swift to lead 
the day in rushing. Mm. Okay. 35 to one. Okay. Wow. So again, I, I, I th- I'm going to guess a lot of places are not going to let you tie these together, hmm. but if you can, let's do some basic math here. Eh, you know, we're, we're calling international no, probably North of a thousand to one. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Cereal's insulted Ryan that you he's pointing out they haven't given up a hundred yard rusher yet this season. That's a weak take. It's because they're too busy. All right, for- get rid of that one. Jameis Winston, thirty five <laughs> to one, leads the day oh, in passing. Come on, that one's not fun. Yeah, have they put- I mean it is fun, but thirty five to one. All right, there's a lot of weather. It's okay. it's one of the few dome games. Right. And it's Jameis fucking Winston Winston. Yeah. No, I love it. Have the Cowboys played a team that had fans standing outside the team meetings with a run the ball sign? That's true. Going <laughs> yeah. You, uh, does the algorithm factor that right. in? Absolutely. Sirianni was clearly like, yeah, the, the, the guys outside with the signs are right. Yeah. He said, <laughs> I love their passion. Why do I have to listen to them? Yeah. He, kn- he knows where it's bread's butter. CJ, what do you got for uh Degan's uh, parlay? Here? A Degan parlay. Um, speaking of which, just to hop on yours on uh, your French tight end that ha- ha- happens to be German. Uh, for Sorbet. The second, Croissants for everyone. Sorbet. Eric Sorbet. He's fitting my new mold of whoever's playing the Jets. Do that first and last parlay Ooh. together. If you're getting a Sorbet touchdown, what did you say it was 28 to 1? 18 to 1. 18 to 1. So yeah. you parlay his first and last Woo-hoo! together. I mean, I like that. Da, da, ding, ding. Yeah. I'm not throwing that out there. I'm just I'm just oh, saying for you guys. I that's like not, that. that's not was, my D again. I was, I was it made me think. <laughs> workshop and yeah. I like it. And you can throw, you can sprinkle a couple Texans out there, but I like the German in there. But anyway, yeah. But I will do this. Two things will happen. We're going to start off with the second ladder. We're going to start off as a base. Alec Pierce, I already gave him out of the twenty nine and a half. His ladder tops off at eighty yards, at twelve to one. And he's a what? deep, he's a deep threat guy. He had a hundred yards last week for crying out loud. Granted, fifty of it wasn't overtime, but it wasn't a deep threat ball. So if we get, we'll start off with Alec Pierce, eighty yards, twelve to one. Now, if we parlay that, there's three different options. I'm going with Gerald Everett touchdowns. Gerald Everett, it's, it's, he's, a, he's, he's a hilarious uh, guy to play because th- his touchdown prop is literally the only one you should be playing with Gerald Everett. <laughs> yes. His receptions are untrustworthy. His yardage are untrustworthy. Well, if you listen to Justin Decker, he's just untrustworthy. Well, he, <laughs> he is, but if he catches it, it's going to be a touchdown. And versus Denver is a, t- a defense that gives up for a a lot. So is any time he's like plus two eighty. So if you parlay that with Pierce's eighty yards, that's forty six to one. That's what we're starting off with. Hmm. Um, one that I like, Gerald Everett's a late late bloomer when he gets going. So if you just put a Gerald Everett last touchdown, oh boy, with Alec Pierce, that p- comes in at one hundred ninety five to one because he believe he's fourteen to one to get the last touchdown. We need one of those rotary phones. <laughs> we're, we're, we're making these. Now, last time I did give this out in your prop one time, I have given out Gerald ever two touchdowns. Oh, I don't know if I was on the V center or if I was on here. I he, remember that and it was a Kansas city game. He had the touchdown and the second one run right through his hands. Sounds about right. Yeah. <laughs> and then, and there wasn't a point scored after that. And then I remember that was a bad beat for the over I mean, it was like the quarter and a half, but doesn't matter his two touchdowns plus Alec Pierce, 80 to one parlay. That is 337 to one. <laughs> oh my God. All right. That's very doable, by the way. It's very reasonable. Very reasonable for a three hundred to one. You mentioned the Sober first and last yes. uh, touchdown that pays one hundred and fifty to oh one. Oh my! V- God. Also very two doable. scoops of Sorbet. I mean, please. that's the and, and that's li- the Pruitt formula right there. And literally, only one thing has to happen. Yes, he, that's what's great about. Yeah, it. he has to get the touchdown, and then that's it. One thing, that's it. Just one touchdown. Pull the plug. Bing, bam, boom. Hey, shout out to old fashioned football in the YouTube chat uh, asking, did we get a delivery today? We did. Mm. A nice bottle of Keeper's Heart Rye Whiskey. So delicious. Cannot wait to crack that open. And uh, yeah, make sure you check out old fashioned football. Shout out to Justin and Miranda who host that and uh, hooked us up with a nice bottle, right? J Mark hey. Wifey on Twitter. Uh, yes. Shout here's out to I, her. Here's what I'll say. Uh, if J Mark's on our sideline, we're never going to have any issues like with Big Oh, Tom. no. Yeah. Big, <laughs> J, Big he'll J. Be, J. He'll be sending over Big bottles, yeah. bottles of booze. Keep everyone calm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It, it will be a uh, very uh, relaxed. We'll call it a tribute. <laughs> J Mark loves sending tributes back to the home office. <laughs> oh, all righty. Uh, hey. 
enjoy having you on as always, CJ. Make Thank sure you. you check out CJ Sullivan. Subscribe to the Man in the Box, aka the Bottom Line Bombs podcast on the Sports Gambling Podcast Network. Uh, what, do, what? Where can people? What? What days does that air, CJ? The Dominheimer will detonate his bombs <laughs> live on YouTube Monday and Thursday. Part of the C block. Yes. After the college experience with Picks Dundee, I do that with him on, at noon Pacific, and then the bombs usually come in right afterwards around one forty-five. Well, we like to go live at one forty-five. That's how we try to oh make people God. reminder it Mondays and Thursdays, and then. Um, we did not give out the Patriots win 30 to nothing tonight, but apparently that's going to happen. Uh, latest episode just came out today. So Mondays and Thursdays live, uh, 145. C Block starts at noon, though. C Block, check it out. Thank you for participating in the Sports Gambling Podcast. For the Sports Gambling Podcast, I'm Sean, second the one of green. He's Ryan. Great ladder work, gentlemen. Yes. Kramer, let it ride.